Hello, my loves. I have a cool experience to share, and it's mostly designed to kind of visualize or explain a lot of the different energetic shifts that a lot of people are going through uh, today and over the next week. Uh, this is the time of year for cleansing and renewal, as well as celebration with Halloween and Samhain. And there's a lot of people experiencing a whole lot of upheaval uh, and spiritual growth. And the experience I had is I was doing a ritual bath uh, just a little bit ago. And I'm a water sign. I'm Scorpio. I love, I love the element of water. And I had some crystals, uh, incense. I was guided. Ooh, excuse me. There's a lot of energy going through me right now. Uh, I was guided to visualize everything that um, I have been co-creating with my guides with uh, for our all my hopes, dreams, goals, everything that my husband and I have been working together for, for us and our kids. And basically really get into the zone of feeling it and accepting it. Like, yes, I deserve all of this. This is awesome. This is what we want. You know, these are the feelings. And uh, visualize putting it out into the universe. And uh, I was kind of given this vision of the different elements around me flowing. Uh, earth for the crystals, water from my bath, air for the incense. And then fire from within me, my own inner fire, all mixing above me into this portal-like, um, well, circle, kind of like Stargate. And like, oh, cool. I've been through Ascension portals before, so I was kind of assuming that's what it was. And then to my surprise, somebody stepped through it. Well, literally, he crawled through it because he was giant, uh, very ashen, um, gray, uh, kind of ashy and uh, like a mixture of ash and rock. Uh, it was very strange. Um, I he, he looked very stern, like he was supposed to be extremely intimidating. And I was just like, um, hi, what is going on? Who the heck are you? Because I didn't recognize him. I didn't recognize the energy he was putting out. And he said he was doubt. Uh, my doubt. Uh, my doubt in, uh, do am I worthy of everything I just put out into the universe? Uh, do I doubt... Uh, then I'll ever, ever actually achieve it. And I told him, uh, F no, I don't doubt any of that. Uh, I've cleared a whole lot of that with my guides. Um, so you're welcome to check, but I'm good. I don't think I deserve it. I know I deserve it. And that's how all of you should be as well. <laughs> claim your stuff, claim your hopes, claim your dreams. Um, and he put a hand on my shoulder and kind of felt into my heart chakra and I repeated I know I am deserving and I am worthy of everything I am manifesting everything I am co-creating and a, a feeling of shock kind of came through me I couldn't see him at that point I just knew he was still there and then I saw in the back of my mind's eye I don't see with my physical eyes not always uh <laughs> Uh, I saw three more individuals step through. These I recognized because I've been working closely with them for I don't know how many years now to clear out a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and it's been ex exceptionally more predominant clearing over the last two years. And uh, one was from the element of fire and he has been helping me with uh, despair. Uh, and fear of my own determination, my drive, my own inner, uh, my own inner fire, um, and my own passion and sensuality as a woman as well. Um, and getting over a lot of that. And I was like, Hey, we're good. Right. <laughs> and then the element of air, the individual step forward, he's been helping me with being a better parent, uh, helping me deal with triggers, uh, that of course, you know, young kids can bring up, especially when they're pushing against your boundaries because, <laughs> you know, they want to do their own thing. They're growing. <laughs> and uh, then the element of water. And he's been helping me with uh, repressed emotions as well as fear of my own inner power. Uh, water is the depths of well, our intuition, our, our all of our spiritual gifts, as well as a whole bunch of other awesomeness, uh, creativity, and a whole bunch of power. And they all kind of just 
touched my shoulders and kind of connected with my heart chakra to essentially see if there were any other triggers that were going to come up and nothing did like told y'all I'm good. Nothing, nothing crickets. Okay, then. And all that cleared. <clears throat> and then I saw a baby. Um, and they said it was me, my new beginning. And then I went through the portal and it was really, really cool. Um, essentially it was us clearing out or making sure we'd cleared out all of what they were helping me dig up and heal. And then moving on to the next level, moving on to the next step with whomever's going to be stepping in to help me with, help me with the next things. Um, and that is a whole lot of, um, well, a whole lot of visuals to explain that everyone is going through shifts like this. Everyone is being tested um, and definitely not in the ways that they like, uh, because unfortunately, in order to test our triggers and our responses to them is to get triggered and be like, okay, so what are you going to do? Are you going to react with a healthy coping me mechanism that you've been working on, or are you going to revert to an old pattern? And everyone is experiencing a little bit of this in some way, uh, or a lot in others, and it is all to one, show you how far you've come. And two, to, well, find out where else we can clear out and plant seeds for new growth, for new beginnings, because tomorrow starts new, a new year. Uh, may not be a traditional new year, but, you know, the witchy spiritual new year. And the, with the veil being thin, it's the perfect time to do all that. Go out and celebrate how much you've grown. Go out and celebrate and have fun. Because no matter how yucky you feel, you deserve to be happy. You deserve to have fun. You deserve to celebrate yourself. I love you. I am proud of you. So are all the guides. Um, so are all your ancestors. Thank you for watching. Always remember, you are accepted. You are valid. You are loved.